My name is Kristen, I'm 33, and a little bit about my past athletic history is I grew up as a, mostly a dancer and dabbled in gymnastics, um, wasn't quite built for that. Uh, danced all through high school and then when I got to college, um, continued being active, I think it was more of just generally active and, and natural athleticism but not ever true team sports. Um, now I do mostly running, swimming, occasional cycling, um, triathlon, things like that. I would define an elite athlete as someone who um, embodies the sport that they participate in and really embrace it in their everyday life. Um, I think probably two ways to look at it is one from the athlete's perspective themselves is every single day living it and doing things to achieve their ultimate goals, um, whether it's nutrition or, or sleep patterns or training or recovering from their sport. And the other way is, is people looking up to them as an elite athlete, someone who's achieved certain goals or status and serves as a role model for others to, to get there. So I've been at athletic my whole life. I've never really been good at any particular sport. I've tried all the traditional baseball, basketball, baseball things, and I think I was average at some of those, but mostly that's just because of my strength and agility, not because I could shoot a ball really well, uh, or certainly throw a ball well at all. So um, I've been riding my bike my whole life, started off with BMX stuff, and got into some mountain biking, and then finally road riding, and this is one of those things that it I can, hmm? it's finally something that I can utilize my, what strength I have and the agility that I have and also it blends in a lot of thinking, making immediate decisions. Um, so it's like a chess game at speed. Uh, to me, an elite athlete is somebody who has kind of gone up the ranks of um, beginner at a sport and um, you know, at least for cycling it's upgrading two different categories and really it's somebody who has to commit a big part of their life and kind of live the lifestyle of whatever their sport is. I mean, for me it's everything that I, especially during the race season, nutrition, sleeping, support system, equipment, it's every day it's thinking or talking or making decisions that are going to affect um, my sport. So it's really living, living the lifestyle. Five seconds. So this course is has a little bit of everything. It kind of winds through this park. Uh, it's got a little climb here and there, and a little thing there's a short, steep section. One or two sections that are short and steep. A lot of twists and turns. One kind of a hairpin section, which should be, and it's sort of at a descent, so it should be kind of fast, and that, I think that could be a little bit sketchy, so it's pretty much a single lane width the whole way, so maybe a little bit hard to move around depending on the size of the field. So it'll be, for me, a test of patience. It's two hours, and I have a tendency to go and chase a bunch of stuff at the beginning and um, sometimes burn it too, too many matches too soon. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit patient today. Especially because when it's, it's gonna be 90 degrees out, I don't have, I only have so much fuel in the tank right now. I consider Aaron an elite athlete because he has committed so much of his life to cycling. He 
he knows that that limits other interests that he can pursue, but he is willing to put in hours and hours and hours and hours on his bike in the rain, in the cold, in the heat, in the sun. Um, he plans his whole summer, mar well, probably March through August, around um, what cycling races are coming up. Um, he competes very frequently. He's actually he's racing with um, against professional cyclists now and finishing with them in the, at the finish line. He's consistently in the top 10 now, if not closer to top five. And he is just always working harder and harder and harder to get better, get faster, get stronger, get fitter, and kick more butts while he's doing it. So I definitely consider him an elite athlete. I most definitely would call Aaron an elite athlete because of his commitment to his sport, a commitment to everything he decides to do in his life, and he it trains year-round, he focuses, and he is indeed a team player, and all those factors make him an elite athlete. Well, I would say uh, the same things that his mother said, but I also add that an athlete that is ranked sixth in the state of Washington for crit races and 14th for uh, road races certainly should fall into the category of an elite athlete, which is Aaron Shaw. I would absolutely define Aaron as an, an elite athlete. He's um, He really does live every day as a cyclist, and he's explained to me that he's either training for or recovering from a, an event, and really every day he's thinking about what he eats, his sleep patterns, um, and training, and it, it has all paid off for him. He's ranked number six in the state of Washington, and that's pretty impressive. And um, as he's gotten better and better and, and really got to the top of his field, he has other cyclists come up to him and ask him, um, ask him for advice, and I know that there's lots of other athletes out there that look up to him. He's an amazing, amazing elite athlete. And there it is! Stay upright. Very nice. And we did we did have one up here called second, but unfortunately, if you're uh, playing horse racing, you didn't win. You, you, you got to show, yeah, but you play you. There it is. No, it makes me tired, <laughs> happy, safe. Oh yeah. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. Egg, egg salad. Top 20 maybe? Yeah. That sprint was chaos. Total chaos coming in around. I mean there were guys that were like pushing each other before that last turn. Everybody was like pushing, trying to cut in the turn. It was like four wide going in at speed. <coughs> and then Dude, the rock star. And I was like, Good job, man! Woo! 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 Then after the same that he, in another race, he won the 35 and over, 45 and over, and the Pro 1 2 by going off by himself. All in one day. <laughs> He's strong. He was up front the whole time. But I was coming in really hot. I got out in the wind a little bit right before the dip. And I felt like, even though I got out in the wind, I had a lot of momentum. I was like, I'm going to get top 15. And then somebody went off the road onto the left. And so I'm right by the road, right by the edge. And he's like on the, in the gravel. And he's about to come up to this little, there's a little road that comes out. And I can see that the pavement ends and does this. And I'm just thinking, is he going to cut in to try to get back onto the road? Or is he going to like hit that at 35 miles an hour? So I sort of like eased up and drifted, being safe. Well, we've heard from several different people what it means to be an elite athlete, and despite their varying athletic backgrounds and subtle differences within their definitions, there are certain characteristics that are uh, uniformly under the umbrella of what it means to be an elite athlete. You hear about perseverance, dedication, competition. Aaron exhibits everything that brings out the best in being an elite athlete. 
And without a question, Aaron is absolutely an elite athlete, and I am proud and honored to be his brother. Am I an elite athlete? <clears throat> I think that I'm maybe, maybe I'm an elite athlete for 38 years old. I, for my category, which is category two, I'm, according to USA Cycling, I'm ranked sixth in the state of Washington for, for crit racing. Most of the guys that are placed better than me and around me are 10 years younger than I am or more. Uh, so it's hard, to, it's hard to call myself elite when there's always guys that are faster and there's one more category that I'd like to upgrade to, but I race against professional racers and I race against the fastest cyclists everywhere I go. So I rub elbows with elite guys, so I guess that some of that might rub off to me. Do you think that Aaron is a better athlete because he kills a kitten every time he gets a top 10 finish? <laughs> um, well, I've, I've just heard that Killing kittens is just par for the course when you're. Um... Not him. Oh. <laughs> when when you're an elite elite cyclist, it's you get extra special powers from kitten, fresh kittens' blood. Yeah. I think dogs like Aaron so much because they can tell, they can smell that he drinks kitten blood, and um, dogs, as you know, are attracted to kittens and they like to chase them. And so I think the dogs that really like cats are attracted to Aaron because they can smell that kitten blood on him. I think it's the I'm fact walking that he, now. That he, he eats uh, sweetbreads, which is not a bread at all, which is a brain <laughs> from an animal <laughs> that helps increase his intelligence. I think it's not just drinking kitten blood before races, it's the volume and the type of kitten. If, you, if I can get a liter of calico kitten blood in me, it's game on, and um, that's better than any sort of tiger blood you can get.